All right, so we're out here. It's Sunday afternoon, about 11.30. 17 miles off. Viz is looking actually really good today. Dive flag in. Dive flag up. Brand new spot, we've never been here before. I found this spot while we were driving out to this spot. It's like cheese rock type stuff. I'm gonna try and get some like snapper, hogfish, something like that. Group aren't in season, but we'll probably see a couple of them. Yep, we're in uh, 50 feet of water and it fluctuates here, 50 to 55. There's different uh, ledges and stuff on the bottom and it's about 68 degrees, so a little cold still, but we'll, we'll make do. <laughs> All right, we'll catch y'all in the water. So this right here is my, uh, I guess you'd call it my second dive in the spot. My first dive was actually just to locate it and figure out where I was and Right off the bat, as soon as the bottom came into visibility, you can see that hogfish right there, clear as day. Um, gives me a good shot right there. My shaft sticks into the sand there and kind of is bouncing around, so I go down and secure him. And tries to avoid me, gets a little, little caught up under the ledge, but I pull him out and uh, head to the surface, just you know, always trying to secure your fish when you can. So, uh, sharks or whatnot, you know, he doesn't have the chance to get off. Josh goes down to check out if anything else is below there and yeah, secure a solid hogfish for the first time diving this ledge. This is two dives after Connor's got that nice hogfish. I'm headed down, checking out the whole ledge, seeing what's happening, and as you'll see, big hogfish right there. But I make sure to check out the whole ledge before I take the shot on this fish, and not see anything else, so I decide to wait until I get a good shot. Turns gives me a good opportunity. I take it, and I make sure to go secure this fish, just to make sure he doesn't get stuck up under a ledge or picked up by a shark or anything like that. Fish of the day. Trying to get some good fish. Juan's about to go see if we can get one of those big snapper. Not too shabby. Probably like a 17 inch hog or so. Not terrible. Not a bad fish. Get in a nice box. Get on with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Good? Alrighty. Just got done to the first spot. New lead. We got a 17 and a half and a 16 inch hog. Right now we're headed to another spot where we got, we've done here a good bit of time. We've been there in the past videos and so. Big hogfish, big snapper. Can't see if we can get some more. We're trying to limit on hogs today. That's our goal. We're just gonna see if we can or can't, but we'll find out. So we just swapped spots and this is my first dive on the new spot. I'm checking it out. As you see, there's a rock that you've seen in a couple videos. We're checking out the area, going down, and this is my first dive, so I'm kind of scoping everything out and not seeing anything too crazy outside, so I go to decide to look up under this rock, and as you'll see, there's a pretty good mangrove just sitting up under there, and get a real nice stone shot on him, and extract him on the same dive, and I noticed there was some, some big lobster up under there, and I decided to come look at him and how they died. It's not lobster season, is it? <laughs> look it up. No. There's about seven of them now. Yep. Yeah. Alright y'all, got in the boat. Show that fish no well. 20 inch snapper. He, uh, he, he scraped 20. This band was loaded, or no, it was the, the bottom band was loaded to that tab. And this one, 
I brought it back to the back tab and since this wishbone is so thick it doesn't really go in those types of um, fins they're, they're cut ends so it slipped off and it sliced my whole other band all the way open I mean I tie my own bands and I could tie another one but I'm shooting fish under rocks and stuff anyways so I'm just gonna send it with one band so should be good Colin. so this is me going back down checking out the lobster I knew there was some up under there I didn't know how big or how many I'm checking it out I don't see anything that's too crazy so I just decide I don't really know if they're in season or not, so I'm just not going to mess with them and we're just going to keep your fishing. So, head back up to the surface and get on with the day. So, Colin just dropped me in on this new spot. We dove it a couple times before, but we knew there wasn't anything too crazy. There's some boulders and stuff. As you see them going down, there's some big mangrove snapper in the area, but I didn't see anything that was like really catching my eye. I saw this hogfish. He wasn't giving me the best shot, but I decided to take it right there. But I knew it was a good enough shot to go retrieve him and take the fish up to the surface. As you'll see as I'm grabbing this fish, I'm looking around at the sides, looking around, and I'm just not seeing anything else, so I would made the decision to get on out of this spot and go to a new one. So I've been diving the area of this dump spot a, a few times and I knew this was a pretty rocky, ledgy-ish area and as I'm going down none of these snapper around me are really catching my eye but in the distance I see a bigger rock with a decent amount of undercut and I have my gopro pointed funny so you can't see the fish until right when I shoot him but I saw him from a while away and I came up and he peeked his head out and gave me a good shot right there. And he kind of got tangled up underneath there and I was, I was on the last bit of my dive so I wasn't able to retrieve it on my dive. But this is Josh going down to get it and I had shot him out in the open there as you saw and he had wedged himself all the way up underneath this ledge. So Josh is kind of forcing him out of there because he was a little bit unaware of the situation of how the fish was positioned. But you know, not a big deal at all. Still got him out, still got the fish and he still made good dinner. Up under there. Yeah. All right, we're at probably the fifth spot, and we got three decent hogs and two mangroves. Nothing giant yet. It's getting towards five o'clock. It's like four forty or so. Four fifty-seven. Four fifty-seven, and we got like a twenty-something mile run back. So we're gonna go scan a couple more spots, and if they look decent, we'll dive them. There's less company. There was a lot more people out here, but it started to get pretty glassy. Found me a hat. So yeah, <laughs> we put out a dead weight while we were diving, and Colin heard it freaking out. His rod, he had a clicker on it. He brought his Avit, and I was like, oh, whatever, I don't know what we're gonna use that for. We shot a grunt and put it out there, and he's pulling it back in. Apparently, he was running on full drag. He's probably a shark. 
something. It's definitely a Jew fishing shack. There's no way it's anything else. Yeah, probably. I've never seen one of those out here. All I've seen is a lot of sharks, but sharks don't fight like this. You hook a shark and it freaks out. Yeah, they don't fight like this. And plus, I only got mono on. I don't got a cable. There's no way this hoe would still be on. Yeah, because you had him for a while. <laughs> yeah, he was running on the boat dead. Yeah, he, he just picked up a dead bait and was going. He took like half my spool. We had like a 15-inch grunt out and he just munched it. So, I didn't even think about a gummy yet. It's definitely a gummy. I was thinking about it. Gummies don't run when they eat stuff, too. Yeah, he was cooking. I guess we'll see here in a sec. He's almost up. It's fighting like a gummy. I've caught too many gummies to not know. There's no way it's not. If it is, it's something I never fought before. <laughs> See color, come on. Oh, gummy. I think so. That might be a reef. That's a Oh, it's a reef shark. Yeah. Why did he fight like an idiot? Uh. Is he fouled? He might be fouled the way he's coming up. I don't know if y'all can see that. He's coming up kind of sideways. He died. <laughs> yeah, you got him right in the corner. I don't know. He's just dumb. <laughs> He's cold is what he is. That's all fat. Yeah, that's an eight footer. Seven, eight footer. That's definitely a seven, eight foot reef shark. <laughs> he ain't even fighting. Look. Just dropping the boat off. Finally got to where I gotta drop it off. It's 12, 12 in the morning. Long day, definitely worth it. Ended up with three good hogfish and two big snapper. Pretty good weekend. Can't wait to do it again next week.